All right, welcome. We are going to predict the products of chemical reactions. So we need to have a lot of information here. We need to know our um, reaction types, and then we need to balance things and then classify. So make sure you've got your periodic table close by uh, and let's go. All right, the first formula is magnesium bromide and then we have chlorine. So magnesium bromide, Mg plus two, Br minus one. So crisscrossed, you get Mg Br2. And we've got chlorine, which is by itself, so it's diatomic. Okay, now I need to look at my five reaction types. This is a single replacement. So this is an anionic single replacement because I have nonmetals replacing nonmetals. And just to make sure, I'm gonna take a look on reference table J, and I'm gonna see that chlorine is higher than bromine. So chlorine is higher than bromine, which means it kicks it out. So now I've got magnesium with chlorine, which because bromine and chlorine are in the same group, it's gonna have the same oxidation state, so it's gonna crisscross the same way. And then bromine itself gets kicked out and it is also diatomic. I don't think that's a messy M. All right, now, do I need to balance? One magnesium, both sides, two bromines, both sides, two chlorines, both sides. So then this is an anionic, single replacement. Now, if you have not learned anionic versus cationic single replacement, don't worry about it. If all you say is single replacement, that'll be fine. Okay, great. Next one, aluminum, Al. Iron Roman numeral three oxide. So iron Roman numeral three means iron plus three. Oxygen is a minus two. So you crisscross, you get Fe2O3. And then of course you get rid of the charges. And then you say, okay, which kind of reaction are we dealing with? I see a singleton and a compound. Aluminum is a metal. So I go to reference table J. I'm thinking it's a single replacement. Aluminum is higher than iron. It is. So that means iron gets bumped out and aluminum is now with oxygen. And so I know that aluminum is a plus three, oxygen is a minus two. So when you crisscross, that's what you get. And then you erase your charges. Okay, so now let's balance it. Two aluminums, here I'll use a different color for balancing. How about green? So I'm gonna need a, well actually let's do aluminums last. Let's do oxygen, oxygen's good. Oh, okay. So I guess we can just do this. Um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, and then let's do our type of reaction. It's a single replacement. And if you've gone further, this is called cationic single replacement because metals replace other metals. If you didn't learn that, just stick with single replacement. All right, let's go to the next. Silver nitrate. Silver is plus one. Nitrate, you go to reference table E. It's NO3 minus one. So notice that those charges are equal. So all done. Zinc is a plus two, chlorine is a minus one. Remember, I'm getting those charges off periodic table. So since that's not equal, I crisscross, and then I can get rid of these. All right, well, it looks like we have two compounds, so it can't be single replacement, um, so it's a double replacement. So aluminum, sorry, silver is not gonna be with the nitrate anymore, it's gonna be with the chlorine. And that was a plus one and this is a minus one, so that's actually all set. And then the zinc, and by the way, zinc has to go first always, and silver goes first always because the positives come first. Zinc is a plus two, nitrate is a minus one. So see, that is not neutral, so we'll have to crisscross and put nitrate in parentheses. See, all this stuff is building, building. So I already see that we are not balanced. We need two nitrates on this side. Then we're going to need two silvers on this side and that takes care of the chlorines. Awesome. So now the last thing we need to do is remind ourselves what kind of reaction this was. This is a double replacement. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide. If you don't know that one, you could just look it up. Catalyzed by manganese dioxide. So this is a little tricky. So when it says catalyzed, that means you just put it up here. It's not actually part of the reaction. 
So if we've got one thing about to break down, it would break down into these. And by the way, it's because they're diatomic. And so, gee, what is that? It's already balanced. So this is a decomposition reaction. All right. Zinc. Hydrochloric acids on reference table K. All right, so this looks like we've got a single tenant of compound. So I need to go to reference table J. Zinc is a metal. It's going to replace hydrogen. Even though it's not a metal, it acts like one. So it's going to bump hydrogen out. But remember, when hydrogen is by itself, diatomic, now zinc is with chlorine. You have to make sure this is balanced. So zinc has a plus 2. Look it up on periodic table. Chlorine's minus 1. That is not balanced, so we crisscross. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so now I see that we are going to need coefficients. I need to put a 2 here. And the last thing I need is to tell the type of reaction. So this is a single replacement. And if you went further, you could say it is cationic. OK. Sulfuric acid is on reference table K. It's H2SO4. Sodium hydroxide is Na plus OH minus. It's also on table L. It's a base. So that gets rid of that. OK, so it looks like we have a double replacement because we've got two compounds. So now we're going to have the H plus with the OH and the Na with the sulfate. Now, How did I know that sulfate was minus 2? It's on reference table E. So I see that that is not crisscrossed. It needs to be crisscrossed to make it neutral. Then I get rid of those. And HOH, there's another way I write that. That can be written as H2O, although you could keep it as HOH. All right, that is not balanced, so let's balance it. Um, two there. So then, let's see, we've got sodiums are good, sulfur is good, oxygen. Um, we've got six, so let's see. If we need six, we'll do, we've got three hydrogen. Oh, let's do that. Um, and then let's, okay. All right, so let's see if that does it. We've got actually four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right, one sulfur, one sulfur. Four and two is six oxygens, two and four, six. Okay, good. Excellent. See if it takes me a second, too. This is a double replacement. All right. Moving on. Sodium plus hydrogen. Sodium. Hydrogen. Oh, looks like it's got to be a combination or a synthesis. So who is going to come first? Is it sodium or is it hydrogen? Well, it's actually going to be sodium this time. Because hydrogen, although it's <clears throat> a lot of times going to be positive, it is negative this time. So this is our plus one. This will have to use the minus one. So then that gets rid of that. So then we have to balance with coefficients. So we're going to need a 2 here, and we're going to need a 2 here. And remember, we said this is a synthesis. Final one. I don't want to use pink. Acetic acid that's on reference table K, HC2H3O2, and copper. OK, so it looks like we've got a singleton here. We've got copper. And so copper is going to want to replace whoever's positive over here. So acetic acid is a plus from that. And this whole thing's a negative. So copper is going to be able to replace H. <gasps> oh, it's not. It's below. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we could say this should be single replacement. But it actually wasn't because copper is below hydrogen. All right. Um, there's a lot here. So there's the figuring out. There's the writing formulas. There's the balancing. And then there's identifying. So there's a lot going on here. If you have questions, please reach out. Thank you.